How's it going? As you guys saw from that uh, footage, I went to an auction today and uh, came across some more comic books. Uh, this has been a very good year uh, for me with uh, vintage comic books from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. These uh, the comic books were not actually even advertised, and uh, I ended up buying this stack here for seventy dollars. Uh, I have the receipt somewhere, but I can't find it. But I ended up paying seventy dollars for the comics. Uh, the deal with the comic books, they had uh, six different stacks, and they had uh, this stack. They had some Conan the Barbarian, some Western type stuff. Uh, some Batman from the 70s and 80s and I think I did get the the best stack and of course it was your choice so I took the high bid and I made sure I grabbed this I didn't want to you know take a chance of uh, you know somebody else grabbing the stack so I took the high bid and I end up uh, getting the stack here but these are pretty much all uh, Silver Surfer and uh, Submariners and actually found a Submariner number one. But as you can see, these uh, comics are in really good condition. So have a uh, Silver Surfer, uh, number 11, the 15 cent one. And number 12, Silver Surfer. Number nine. As you can see, these are in great condition. I think, uh, I think the auction company actually put them in the sleeves. So just a great uh, score for seventy dollars for for this group. So these are all the silver surfers. I think just the silver surfers are worth uh, the seventy dollars for the group. And then have the submariner and have submariner number one. So this is easily a few hundred dollars just for this book right here. And it's in uh, really nice condition. Again, I think, uh, like I said, the auction company ended up putting all the comics in the sleeves. And then uh, Submariner 24, but then the rest of them are early Submariners. And also, they're in a really nice condition. So I think this is, yeah, this is actually a later one. That's a Silver Surfer, I'm sorry. So these are the Submariners. I guess these aren't as quite a good condition as I thought. Uh, but they are 12 cent comics, so they are from the 60s. So Submariner number five, uh, Submariner number four. Submariner number three. And Submariner number two, not in the greatest of condition. Uh, but this uh, person, it was an estate, and what they did was they pretty much cleared out the house and they, put, they brought everything to a... Uh, fairgrounds so it was held indoors so uh, this person was actually an artist so this is some other stuff I grabbed uh, this stack right here I paid $37 for you can see this is some of his sketching sketches so that was in the group actually I paid uh, $7 for the box and $30 for this stuff so that was the uh, owner, previous owner, and I did some research on him. He's actually a uh, 
an, an artist that's actually sold work. So he does have auction results for his painting and artwork. And he's from uh, Van Wert, Ohio. But I ended up buying this box because it had these watercolors paints. These look to be maybe from the 60s, the tin. And they're still actually sealed. So there's actually four of those. So I did an eBay search and there was none of these uh, listed for sale. So generally if you find, uh, if you do not find something on eBay, it's uh, fairly uncommon. So to have these specific ones uh, not on eBay and they're still factory sealed, uh, it could be a really good score there. Like I said, I only paid $7 for the box. There's just some markers and type stuff in there. But to end up paying $30 for this. And there's some uh, artwork in here. And these are some hand-drawn uh, cat drawings. So there's actually four of them. I think they're pretty interesting. And these are hand done. And then the reason I bought them, this uh, group, was this right here. I think this is called a color guide. And if you guys remember the uh, comic strip BC, this is what they call a color guide. So there's like some instructions on the back here. And then this is the colorized version. And there's instructions on uh, what to color and how to color it. So I did do some research on these, and these do sell. And according to eBay Completed, looks like uh, the BC Color Guides uh, sell for between $150 and $300. So this is another great find, uh, just for $30 bucks for the entire stack of stuff here. And then I found, it's pretty interesting, uh, some original artwork. So these are done by his wife, Donna. So that's original. Another piece of artwork. And then there's some large uh, drawings in here that he did when he was a student. So I have this piece of artwork right here, and this was done by him when he was younger. Because on the back, it gives a description that he did this in 1948 when he was 18 years old, and told about his teacher, Arthur Schweeter, in uh, Manhattan, uh, New York City. He worked on it uh, three nights a week, and it took him six months to draw it, or to paint it, I should say. So have that piece of artwork by him. And then I have another one, and unfortunately this one looks like it has some damage on it. So that's another original piece of art. And this is also done in 1948.
so some pretty interesting uh, pieces I picked up, I think, today at auction, uh, especially, uh, well, the artwork, and then the uh, rare comics. Again, I uh, was really shocked to see these there, and the auction company did not list these at the auction or any uh, photographs of these online. So I'm sure, obviously, if they would have posted pictures of these, there would have been a whole bunch of people there bidding on these. But to get the stack for uh, $70, it's a, a really good deal. Uh, stay tuned uh, for tomorrow. I'm going to list another video. I went to an auction today at 6 o'clock and basically filled up my truck. So I haven't even bothered to unload my truck. It is full of board games and... Uh, Purdue University memorabilia and I think there's some uh, some signs and it's just it was a crazy crazy auction where they're basically selling ta the entire table for like a dollar so uh, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff so stay tuned uh, till for tomorrow when I'll post that video again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time